Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm getting the Zappy charger installed in, uh, on the front of my property. Uh, I've got the meter box just on the side there and the charger is going to go on that front column. The electricians are going to be here in about an hour and hopefully we'll get to ask them some technical questions. Also uh, Chris with his BMW i3s is headed over and uh, hopefully we can have a look at see if it's charging and how the solar is feeding into the car later on. Okay, so one thing that Chris mentioned to me when I went over to his place and he showed me his Zappy charger is that you he didn't have a second clamp and I had to order this separately. Uh, you can't order it at the time, but my wife was buying this for me as a birthday present, but uh, when it arrived, I uh, ordered the second clamp. And what that does is allow the Zappy charger to show the amount of power that the house is using uh, on the display as well. So uh, I thought that might be a worthwhile addition. So look out for that in the video later on. All right, here we are a couple of days after the installation. Um, I've had to go to work, so I haven't had much of a chance to play around, but big shout out to Vic and Brendan for the installation and Sean for organizing that. I uh, really appreciate it, boys. Uh, they're over at Electric Fever. Uh, if you're looking for any electrical work on the north side, Brisbane, uh, give them a shout. So. What have I learnt through the installation process? Well, the electricians used a 40 amp circuit breaker. Uh, the circuit boards themselves are only 50 amp. So I guess you just have to be a little bit careful about your overall draw. When we initially booted up, even though I've got the two clamps for generation and uh, what's happening with the grid, uh, I was only getting one of those values uh, at the top there showing instead of the three values so just a little tip for anyone that installs these you go in uh, initially set the second clamp to be the generation and then you should do a actual turn it off at the master switch and once it boots up the next time it should be all fine so let's just have a bit of a closer look at things uh, for those of you that aren't that familiar with the my energy zappy charger uh, this figure here is obviously how much my solar panels are generating and this figure here is how much is going to the grid and if you take that figure and minus that figure you get the consumption of your house. So my house is using uh, 1200 watts or 1.2 kilowatts at the moment. I think the pool pump is on and that uses about a thousand so that's about right. Once Chris turns up with his um, EV uh, we'll start to see a, a line going here between the uh, Zappy charger and the car, so looking forward to that. This is a very versatile charger, it's not uh, simply a trickle charger that you plug in and uh, it just feeds in whatever's coming from the grid or the house. Uh, there's lots of different settings. Um, you can 
it, it records all your statistics as well. Uh, we can go into the readings here and have a quick look. Voltages and currents. This one uh, is the reading screen, so this is the exact values for what's on the front screen there. So 3,000 watts going to the grid, 4,300 being generated by the solar, so using 1,300. Okay. Uh, so you can set the charge settings on this. Um, you can you can have the option to just have it trickle charge slowly. You can set it to your car to be at a certain percentage uh, once you come to use it in the morning, and you can get it to use full power if you need to to um, get a a big boost of power. Just to show you how to set up the can the generation. Uh, feed, you go into the menu and you go down to other settings, advanced, and then CT inputs. And this is where you want to set, uh, I think grid CT1 is always actually set to grid, but then you want to, if you've got the second clamp installed, you want to uh, go to CT2 and just use the up and down arrows, I'm oh, sorry, select it and use the up and down arrows to change it to what you need and so it usually starts with none and you want to change it to generation only and then uh, that should display as so So this is Chris's BMW i3s with the 33 kilowatt hour battery. Let's have a quick tour around. We've got the charge port on the rear and that's why it's reversed in because it's right near the zappy charger. We'll uh, pop around the other side, We've already got the doors open and take a look on the inside. There's a uh, ton of room on the inside actually when Chris took me for a, a test drive there was it was actually ridiculous how much front passenger room there is the dash is so far away uh, and there's no center console there so it feels cavernous uh, the rear passengers get in once the front door is open the electric motor for this is in the rear so up the front we just have storage And at the back here, we have sufficient boot space. All right, so let's check out the BMW i3 charging with the Zappi. So here we are, here's the charge port. And we have a couple of different colors because it's got this uh, lighting down here that changes color. Uh, we have handshake is yellow, charging blue, fully charged green, and not charging red. So let's uh, take out the plug and come over to the charger. So we're going to start on Eco Plus, and that allows us to use this um, this amount here, 2.1 kilowatts that's going to the grid and divert that to the car instead and let's plug that in now try and do this all one handed okay we watch that uh, watch that light as it does a handshake There we go. And there we go, success. Now let's have a look what happens on the Zappi charger. 
So this figure here is going to go down and we can see it's made a connection here and it's diverting all the power. So there we are, the My Energy Zappy Charger installation and functionality. Uh, it's got a few more features I didn't get to cover off on today, but a big thank you to Chris for coming around with this BMW i3s and checking that everything's working fine and for some of his help with the troubleshooting. Uh, once again, thank you to the Electric Fever boys. And uh, if you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing, uh, liking the video and checking out some of my other ones. Uh, and I'll catch you on the next one.